Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Critchlow. I'm a psychiatrist and also have been a church pastor. I'm doing a series of five minute videos and this one is on loneliness, what can be done. Loneliness, as we've just talked about in previous episodes, is a very difficult problem. We've talked about the epidemic of loneliness. And we've also talked about the mental and physical effects of loneliness, which there are. And certainly my experience as a doctor on the wards has been that I meet very often people who are very lonely. I found that on the wards, for example, uh, I found people and their closest relationship is with their cat or their dog. They have no real good relationships in their lives. Often that's re as a result of uh, fractured relationships. In clinic, I often meet very lonely people and my encouragement to them is do something with other people. Do something in a group situation. Don't allow yourself to be completely on your own. But it's very difficult sometimes to persuade people to actually follow through on that advice. Joe Cox, the Labour MP, was sadly murdered in 2016, but she worked very hard to raise the profile of hidden causes of loneliness. And Theresa May, uh, the previous Prime Minister, appointed a Minister of Loneliness. And she went out of her way to try and find help for charities and community groups to expand their programmes to help with the problem of loneliness. And she gave money to regenerate unused community spaces. And uh, even in some areas, uh, post, office, post office workers were encouraged to check on the lonely. And there were some business projects specially uh, for, uh, for, uh, arranged for staff so that staff would feel cared for and would not be lonely and isolated. Befriending schemes are very valuable and many people find a role not only in uh, befriending but befriending others and that's very valuable for them as well as the person uh, being befriended. Um, volunteering systems are very valuable and people are now being encouraged to volunteer in different ways. In fact, uh, general practitioners uh, can prescribe socially, in other words, trying to encourage people to be involved in social situations and prescribing a social uh, help for somebody. Uh, and that's a good way of thinking and a good way of moving forward. Uh, I remember watching a short video called You Can Cope, which is about three people who are very, very suicidal. But one of them, a young man, found reason for his life in caring and looking after somebody with Alzheimer's dementia. And through that love and care, he showed that other person. Then actually, uh, he found help himself in getting better uh, from his difficulties. As I mentioned in one of the earlier videos, sometimes loneliness can be a result of difficulty in forming relationships and it can result from harsh and difficult parenting. I know in my own life that there, there was a period of loneliness particularly, um, but one of the things that really helped me was one day as I'd been praying a lot and seeking God's help in my life, I somehow knew that God had spoken into my heart. I didn't hear his voice with my ears, but in my heart I knew that God had spoken his word into my heart. And that simple word was that um, I love you and accept you just the way you are. And somehow I knew that I was loved and accepted by God. And that my sins had been washed away and that God had received me into his family and received me as one of his own children. And that was something very, very precious to me. In fact, the church is meant to be a kind of family. Because, and God says in Psalm 68, God sets the lonely in families. And people need to know that we really care for them. And sometimes people will want to belong to a church before they're ready to believe. It goes that way around. People need to know to these days that they belong to something. And our uh, desire is that people will know that they belong, that they're important, that we have 
want to bless them in their lives and they come into an organisation where they can know they can be loved and they can belong. And so I'm hopeful that this is going to be helpful to you. Thank you.